Hey, yo, what's good with it, y'all? It's your boy, Mr. Wilson. And you are now tuned in to Wilson Block 100 Radio. And yo, man, I got to give a bad review today, okay? I'm never happy to do a bad review if I can help it, okay? But, you know, I do bad reviews when I feel like it needs to be said, okay? And today, we're going to do a review on... This restaurant, excuse my language, y'all, okay, but this is this is commerce, this is business, okay, um, Biscuit Bitch Restaurant in Seattle, Washington, okay, they got two locations, uh, both on 3rd Street, the infamous, okay, and I was the one, I think it was on 3rd and James, I went to that one, you know what I mean, and, you know, I just want to say that, you know, when I got to Seattle in 2017, Um, You know, we were, you know, migrating through Queen Anne, Belltown, downtown, Capitol Hill, what have you. And, you know, day after day, you know, we would pass by the Biscuit Bitch restaurant, the one in Belltown. And it would just smell great. You know what I'm saying? Not only would it just smell so inviting, but, you know, the line was always long. You know what I'm saying? And it just made you like, you know, for someone like me who's never been here, it just made me want to try it. You know what I mean? It made me want to eat there. And for for months, you know, I mean, today is 2019. You know, I barely had the chance to uh, listen to, to eat there. You know what I'm saying? Just a couple weeks ago. You know what I mean? Like I finally walked by and the line wasn't long. And I'm like, hey, man, let me go ahead and just, you know, peek in here and see what's good. You know? And so I did, man. And, um, <clears throat> you know, I, I mean, I wanted to go to the one in Belltown, but I went to the one on James. And so. I'm about to give you my review right after this local music because you already know what it is. Why you apologize and look that man dead in his eyes? Speak, you are respectful. He ain't putting gas in your whip. He ain't helping you with these bills. He's taking cash from your kids. And has the nerve to turn and ask for your bitch. Uncle Sam is so predictable. Enticing this lifestyle is a criminal glitters and gold. Blind the mind's eye, then tries to slit your throat and pay back. An everyday worry, surely they'll find me. But with bomb bitches and skunk blunts pumped up on some hard liquor. Puking my brains out. Same streets, Biggie was laid out. Same block, pot got tossed up in bootleg and pushed game out. That's same house, Ryan was raised in Same place that I slang them things in Bang, bang, for me to pay rent crooked pigs circle these square blocks And put you in headlocks and handcuffs And throw you in jail For you were there right in a glass dot Matter of fact, don't want it to What's wrong with you? This shit is all that we got So hold on to Cause we live in this crime infested Perverted diamonds and murderers Homeless will break into your crib Just to don some furniture And fuck a burglar Cause homie, we all strapped Let's stay here the cold hearted dog You so far back Cause we live in this crime infested Fessive perverted diamonds and murderers homeless will break into your crib just to don some furniture. Fuck a burglar, it's homie, we all strapped. Stay heated for cold hearted doggies so fall back. Cause we live and we die and we get and we try and we chill and we fight like we supposed to. We all shit, we all cry, we all sing, we all lie. Cause we live and we die, but we live. My back's against the wall, I'm a winner and a winner before I hit the fall. Light skin, long hair, slim and tall. The Wilson block is where I've been all along. The past five years, leaking these songs. I'm already a star. I know the game, I'm already the ball. Tell them boys to eat their weedies, ain't no cheating involved. I can't get past the first verse before repeating. In the song, you see, that's how you know that it's hot The stove holding the pot I'm in the zone, I don't know how to stop On the bottom, trying to make my way over the top The homie Pokey Low showed me how to roll in the spot We the coldest, whether you know it or not It's the Wilson Block, nigga Cause we live and we die and we give and we try And we chill and we fight like we supposed to We all shit, we all cry, we all sing, we all lie Cause we live and we die, but we live Cause we live and we die and we give and we try and we chill and we fight like we supposed to We all shit, we all cry, we all sink, we all lie Cause we live and we die, but we live The hate is fake Hope he love it, bing bing It's the Wilson Block Yes, sir. And that was your boy, Bing Bing and Pokey Low. We live off the haters faith. OK. And yo, man, back to the, you know, uh, matter at hand. OK. Biscuit Bitch Restaurant. Uh, I got to give my review. OK. And here it is here. 
So, you know, I'm walking through downtown Seattle, you know, on a, you know, gloomy morning, okay, and I see the biscuit bitch is not busy and not, you know, had a few dollars, thought I'd go ahead and just slide in there real quick, okay, when I get in there, I'm looking at the menu, and, uh, you know, I'm not knowing what to get, you know what I'm saying, I, you know, I mean, I just really... You know, my, my boy Joe went there. You know, he told me, like, yeah, man, I'm about to grab a quick breakfast sandwich real quick. Whoop, whoop, whoop. So when I went in there, I'm like, man, let me just go ahead and, and look at the sandwiches. You know, I could go for a nice little breakfast sandwich or something like that, you know? I mean, because my impression of, of the restaurant was, um, you know, just, you know, American breakfast food. You know what I'm saying? Pancakes, eggs, you know what I'm saying? Platters, that type of thing. Denny's, I have that type of thing. That's, but just on a local entrepreneurial level. So that's what I was, uh, that was my impression of the restaurant. But I mean, I guess they don't call it biscuit bitch for nothing because, you know, my sandwich came with one cold, hard ass biscuit. Okay. And I did not appreciate it. Uh, you know, what's interesting about, and this is what really made me feel like I had to do this review. When I was eating it, I was just anticipating a good sandwich. You know what I'm saying? And as I'm eating, when I first get it, I'm like, huh? You know, but it was all good. I started to eat it. And, you know, uh, you know, look, man, I got like, you know, I, I don't know fractions like that. You know what I mean? So I'm just going to say damn near halfway. You know what I mean? I got damn near halfway through the sandwich. And I just couldn't, like, I finally, you know, it finally dawned on me. Like, hold on, man, this shit is nasty. Like, what? Like, this shit is not good. You know, um, I had to take another bite and I was like, hold on, what the fuck? So I, you know, lift it up and look, look at the sandwich, what's on it. You know, the egg is right there all slimy and cold. It was just nasty. You know what I'm saying? It was just disgusting. Okay. To me, it was just one of the nastiest breakfasts I've ever had. Okay. And, and you know what? Like when I eat breakfast, like I tend to go to eat what I like to eat. You know what I'm saying? To some degree. Okay. And, uh, yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? The biscuit was hard and cold. The egg was slimy. I don't even know what was underneath the egg. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I really didn't care to even check at that point. Okay? And the sandwich that I got was, excuse my language, y'all, but the bitch witch. Okay? And uh, it was not good to me. Okay? Now, listen, man, I got to go ahead and say this. You know, big shout out, Biscuit Bitch. I just want to let you guys know that I'm not here uh, to tear you down. I'm not here to, you know, give you bad press or anything like that. I just really feel like I have to give my review. And uh, hopefully, man, you guys could bring it around. Or maybe, you know, I'll have a better experience some other time. I, I will say this, that, I mean, even though, like, I'm quoting it as one of the most disgusting breakfasts I've ever had, okay? Uh, you know, I may eat there again, okay? Um, you know, the way it's looking right now, I probably won't be the one paying for it, okay? So, you know, before I eat at Biscuit Bitch again, somebody treating me to breakfast, Okay? And, uh, yeah, man, so, you know, again, you know, to the owner of Biscuit Bitch, you know what I'm saying, let's get it together, okay? And, um, and yeah, man, you know, this was a restaurant, uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and say this, mainly because, uh, you know, I've, I've just never seen this in any other particular restaurant, okay? And when I went in there and noticed that, you know, my food was nasty, okay, and that it's hard and it just is just disgusting, okay, I look up and, and it, it and you know, everybody working in there was LGBTQ, okay? And I'm not saying that like that's a bad thing, but like I said, you know, I haven't really seen that in any other restaurant. And after I just ate something disgusting, to look up and just see that, you know, it it, it was just weird, man. I'm just I'm just being real, okay? Hated to love it, man. It was weird, okay? To go to a restaurant that I've been wanting to eat at, and then, you know, after it finding after finding out it was disgusting. OK, I look up and notice that, you know what? Like, I do, you know, I don't even have a heterosexual serving me. You know what I mean? And and it was listen, I'm not saying it's a good or bad thing. It was just strange to me. OK, and and, and, and I'm not going to I'm just going to be real. I mean, I'm, I'm like, damn, well, is that the reason why this shit was nasty? <laughs> I'm just being real, man. But listen, man, we love all people. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, I just want to go ahead and put that out there, man, because, um, you know, what I'm saying as entrepreneurs, man, we got to make sure that, you know, we strive to provide, you know, quality customer service. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, as an entrepreneur and a consumer myself, you know, I know I know the value of that. 
You know what I'm saying? So that's what it is, man. It's your boy, Mr. Wilson. Wilson Block 100 Radio. I want to thank y'all for tuning in to another review. And uh, we about to jump back into some more local music, man. You know why? Because you know what it is. My mix tape go harder than your albums, nigga. Yeah. You take offense that I'm talking to you. I'm burning up like 360 degrees. Homie, I don't think you know what it means Whether you're praising or you're dissing, I ain't kissing your feet So you can bang, yeah. this is skip and make no difference to me uh-huh. Cause yeah. I'm back in action, hands is clapping yeah. Seen the crown on the ground, I'm trying to ask what happened yeah. You might have the buzz, but you're whacking, you're rapping so. Let these boys hit you, that's what's cracking Good and last the lapping, uh-huh. you threw your mixtape on that pit Wilson Block 100 and we coming for that shit yeah. Rapping with a passion, much more active than last year In the field chilling and it's feeling like cashmere, cashmere. 5 wanna give me a charge uh-huh. Already knowing I ain't even involved Feel my seat six feet deep Believe I bled for a cause That's why I'm the head nigga in charge Now pay attention to me You see me in the streets Begging you to listen to me I never asked for anything That wasn't given to me And by the grace of God Them demons ain't getting to me Niggas trying to kick it And these chicks is blowing kisses to me Yo, just cause my name is Bing Bing It ain't cause I smoke the Bing Bing I am the Bing Bing Looking like no hope for Bing Bing Always broke, no dope, smoking bing bing Pull up in your car like, there go bing bing Yo, let me hit your weed, man, I'm rolling up bing bing See, I first they ain't know about bing bing And now they wanna flow with bing bing, the bing bing Yeah Cause mama, I got fiends And the fiends gon' keep the lights on And if they can't make money, money They gon' find a suspect Then take money, money with your sight, buddy, buddy, buddy Cause mama, I got fiends And the fiends gon' keep the lights on And if they can't make money, money They gon' find a suspect Then uh, take money, money uh, I'm on my grind, got CDs for two Support Go hard on my hustle cause we need the loot we need the If loot. there's no weed, then I guess these bing bings will do New Well, I'm the hardest out and bing bing's the truth Mr. We a pair of real niggas that you need in your booth need us. Coming straight from the east, what it do? Yeah. Follow your dreams is what I teach to the youth uh-huh. Pursuing my paper with a positive purpose If it wasn't for rap, I'd be snatching them purses yeah, Checking yeah. dudes out their shoes, I'm taking their wallets uh-huh. Make you tear it off if I hear changing your pockets sure. Grab you by your ankle, shake, change out your pockets Not a If I was a hip-hop dog, you little niggas is a doctor Who said we ain't the hottest little niggas better stop, stop it, it. No with man, I'm walking still flyer than the cockpit uh-huh. Oops, I mean stewardess, you rookies is new to this rookies. Not getting to the top, shit is ludicrous that's And that's word to the DTP Can't forget my food and games and my TTPs Nowadays niggas working with the PPD uh-huh. Got me spooked cause I move rock like CP3 Things right. buy it every time, call it BET Bet Action that. streets, they tell you who the MVP Me, me. I'm out schooling niggas, no PCC It's real Yes, sir. I want to thank y'all for tuning in to Wilson Block 100 Radio. It's your boy, Mr. Wilson. And yo, man, we're trying to build a foundation for local artists. And we're trying to do it for all genres, okay? All, you know, everybody, okay? Uh, we're trying to, you know, help local talent share their story through exclusive interviews and special features in the Wilson Block magazine. So go ahead and pledge seven, okay? We got the movement going. And uh, check it out, man. Thank y'all for tuning in once again. Until next time, I'm out.